Hey everybody, guess what? I have reached 150 subscribers. Yes, I've done it. I've reached one of my goals. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna say is thank you all for subscribing and liking my videos. I appreciate all the likes, it makes me happy. I wanna make more videos and stuff. And just keep on subscribing to me. You know, it makes me happy every time you subscribe. So the second thing I would like to mention is I'm going to be making a little video, yes of a glitch in Vice City Stories. Uh, if any of you don't know Vice City Stories, it's basically a uh, Grand Theft Auto Vice City, like two years ago, this is the story of Victor Vance, which is Lance Vance's brother and stuff. So yeah, uh, that's a quick story about what Grand Theft Auto Vice City Stories is, and yeah, let's get on to it. Uh, so today I'm going to be doing a little glitch that allows you to skip to the second island, uh, Leaf Links Golf Course. And so this allows you to get to the initial second island, of which Grand Theft Auto Vice City Stories is set. Well, that's the second island that you go to. And so it's quite a good game, actually, Grand Theft Auto Vice City Stories. I've liked, you know, I like Vice City, and this is a great way to relive the modern day Vice City. In fact, shall I say, the past Vice City. This is actually set before the events of Vice City. So this is the, uh, sort of the backstory of how Lance Vance grew up, maybe, and how they met with Tommy Vassetti. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and kill myself quickly, because this is a good way to get yourself to the hospital. Uh, well, oh yeah, that's right, I gotta swim first. I forgot. <laughs> Vice City Stories, you can actually swim whenever you want. Which is a great addition to Vice City Stories. Like, they had this in San Andreas. But they removed it in Liberty City Stories, and they reused it in Grand Theft Auto Vice City Stories. Which is kind of neat, actually. Uh, when are we going to run out of stamina? Jeez. Okay, I'm swimming for a little while actually. Um, I'm not going to do the lifeguard mission just yet. I'm actually going to wait until a little later on. But as you can see, my stamina bar is slowly running out. And once that runs out, he will drown. Like so. And so this allows you to go to the hospital. In fact, I should have just ran there actually. I should have just ran there because that was a waste of time. But anyway, who cares? You guys got to see me swim. I'm such a good swimmer. Okay, so you go around to this location. This is starting from the hospital. And so you run down this street, chuck a left. Like so. I've done all the ambulance missions, so I won't run out of stamina, which is good actually. Because everybody knows that you walk twice as slow when you're walking and you're fucking slow as when you're, when you're walking. Ignore me there. I'm just blabbering on about something. I have a tendency to do that. Alright, so you make your way out of this area, and you'll notice this area has a open gate. Now, this location here, this is a unique stunt jump that you do on a Sanchez, I think. And down here is a bit of piping. And if you jump at it, if you're just right, now, I swear to God, I have not edited this. You need to jump, and if you do it, and not fail like I did. Oh, there you go, second try. You get teleported to Leaf Link's golf course. How fucking awesome is that? That is such a cool glitch, I swear to you. And I actually done my research. It's because when you jump at a surface that doesn't quite have the proper coding to handle Vince's falling animation continuously because that pipe is actually glitched and you see when you jump on it 
you'll like float around for a little bit and eventually either get back onto the pipe and have proper steaming animation or you'll be stuck there and possibly the game will soft lock because it doesn't know what to do with you. So that glitch just there was actually a fail safe. See, when I got stuck there, I was like in that animation of me in my jumping position. Oh, oh I went the wrong way there. And you see, the game actually handles it as you have zero coordinates at zero position at zero degrees. And so the location of zero, zero, zero happens to be in the middle of the map where, or somewhere in the middle of the map, where Leaf Link's golf course happens to be. So once you spawn there, you hit the ground on Leaf Link's golf course and you're there immediately. So that's why that glitch happens. Now don't get me wrong, this is my own presumption, you know, it could be something completely different. But yet again, thank you for listening to my idea. And I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, this was my 150th subscriber video. And thank you for watching, and I'm going to die as a lovely gift to you all. Drown. Fatality. Wasted. Yes! Ha ha!